Shai Gilgis Alexander, 41 and a half points, rebounds, and assists. We're going to talk about that and more on this episode. 2 0 on yesterday's video, 4 0 on Saturday, 25X given away on Sunday morning's live stream. YouTube is on fire. Let's stay hot today. Shai Gilgis Alexander, 41 and a half points, rebounds, and assists. Which direction am I taking? Am I going more? Am I going less? Let's find out. Oh, I'm going more. I'm not taking an SGA prop on the under. No way. No how. It ain't happening today. It hasn't happened before, and it's never going to happen. All we need from SGA is 30-plus minutes, and I think we get it today. He's averaged 47 points, rebounds, and assists combined when playing 30-plus minutes. That's literally all he needs, and he's hit the over in 10 of 11 games this season. When we see SGA in these competitive games, he's actually been playing more minutes than last season, about two to two and a half more. And some of you might sit there and be like, Mitch, that ain't much. Well, yeah, it is. When he's playing the upper 36 to 37 minute range, this hit rate is astronomical, literally untouchable data trends for a guy with such a high PRA. I'm talking over 80% hit rates. He just needs to play a full complement of minutes. Even at just the 30-minute mark, if you filter out those, he's hit the over and over 80% of the games for the last six weeks of the NBA season and the first 11 games that he's done that in this season, 10 of 11. Again, I mentioned that. Unbelievable. So basically, as long as it's not an epic blowout and the Thunder don't pull his fourth quarter rotation or shorten it, the over potentially has a great shot of hitting the over. And even if it doesn't end up being a super competitive game, he still can smack the over and be the reason why it was a blowout. So I am taking more on this first pick for SGA, and hopefully this is the 13th W, and we'll end up being 13-0. and There is the 25X from last night. Ended up pushing Tyrese Maxey. Oh, so sad. Would have been a 25X, but we slapped home a 10X. Really, really like this one. Ended up working out very well. Hopefully, you got the Dobbs play. Hope you got the D-Low play. Both of those right here on yesterday's video. Matter of fact, Twitter also went bonkers. 7-3 and three in chalkboard picks. Had the DJ Moore on Twitter. Longest pass. Points bet play. D-Low and Dobbs underpass. That's a nice 6-0, and 5-0 and on the picks, and then 7-3 and on chalkboard right there on Twitter. Make sure you're following me over there as well. All right, I've switched over to the optimizer. You can use this, myspray.com. Make your own slips. Look at Julius Randle, over 4.5 assists on underdog fancy. Tremendous play, 58.38% implied probability. Based on the odds of these six sports books, juicing the over. And then underdog giving you a fixed pricing, no odds included, and you get this great line. And why does this matter so much? Because you can make these on your own. Got all my picks from the Optimizer. 25X. Got all my picks from the Optimizer. Loved it with the Spari tool. Another 25X from somebody else. First time using my Spari, and it's a hit. Bang, bang. Hits two picks. Three more people tagged me in 25Xs last night. It's crazy. This Optimizer is next level, and I want people to get comfortable using it because, my friends, I want you to be able to make these slips on your own myspray.com grab that link down below i'm going to show you how to use it today give you some w's for the morning and i'll see you on the inside okay let's get going so essentially all i'm going to do here is you're going to go to the optimizer tab click yes highest to lowest for the implied probability i'm not going to mess around with the markets but if you like playing certain markets you can do that rebounds assists steals all those you can play each individual one you can research players individually. All you have to do is type their name in, and every market will come up for them. So let's say I wanted to look up Chet Holmgren. You can type in Chet, and you can see every single market, every single player prop line, everything for Chet, just like that. All you had to do is type his name in. So lots of functionality to use this. All right. And if you're somebody who's like, Mitch, I only play price picks, or I only play sleeper. Okay. You literally could just go to select pick and site, click sleeper, and then only sleeper lines are going to come up. There you go. You can literally just look at these, research them if you want, take the top you know, five, take the top six or something, do what you want, take top two. Maybe you're only looking for plays that have five or six sports books of you know markets. Okay, then there you go with Fox and Capello, over eight and a half rebounds, over five and a half assists. There are many ways to use it. Find what works for you. All right, so here's one, Jabari Smith, under one and a half three-pointers made. Juiced on Fliff, minus 150 to the under. DK, Caesars, Pinnacle, minus 138. Underdog just leaves it hanging there for you. Here's another one. Jacob Otto right there. Oh, under, not over, under. Get that right, Mitchell. 
under two and a half assists, juice to the under on four books, including all the way up to minus 145 on Caesars. Now, I don't take books. I don't take plays. Even though I see this here, I don't take plays where there's less than four books. I want four markets. So give me Fliff, DK, Ben and Jam. But then I need one more, Fandle, Caesars, or Penny. One of them has to open uh, this market up on their book before I would feel comfortable taking it. So I would skip that one personally. You do what you want, though. I see people making 25 Xs, and they're not paying attention to how many books they have. But they're literally just taking what is the implied probability and going from there. So that's up to you. So bonus is in play at over one and a half stocks here because we have four sports books. Again, then we've got six books here, juice in the over, but RJ Barrett isn't available. Here's an interesting one. You've got five sports books. One of them is an outlier line at minus 125 to the under for Andrew Wiggins rebounds. The other four books, we've got juiced odds all the way up to minus 160, minus 151 on Caesars. Parlay play in the price picks. Leave it hanging there. Underdog bumped it. So, I think the value, tremendous value, is either take it, DK, straight pick, under four and a half, or snag it on price picks and parlay play. Keep on scrolling. Oh, glorious. Spencer Dinwiddie, under two and a half threes. Look at this. Juiced on all six sports books. Now, while it isn't as good implied probability, it's not as high as Julius Randle or some of these others, this might be the very best one I've shown you today because there are six sports books giving you a price and all six agree this line has a high implied and probability that it hits under two and a half threes i'm going to go ahead and say that's probably the best one on the board simply not just by the math but the fact that you're able to compare six sports books for it De'Aaron fox over five and a half assists right here on sleeper looks glorious six books juiced all the way up to minus 156 on FanDuel, bumped on parlay play bumped on price picks sitting Right there looking pretty at over five and a half on sleeper picks. Oh my goodness, what a gem this looks like. Over eight and a half boards for Clint Capella. Look, bumped on price picks, bumped on parlay play, sitting there on sleeper. Now, here's where it matters more to me. Six sports books. We've got a few that are pretty juiced, but then the sharpest book, Pinnacle, minus 161 to the over eight and a half rebounds. Matchup against Cleveland. Pella usually has to play a lot of minutes against big teams. I looked this one up earlier, played 27, 21, 28 minutes in the last three games against Cleveland, ended up with 12, 4, and 10 boards. Anytime Clint Capella has to play 25-plus minutes, I thought that was a pretty safe you know, filter. Well, he averages 11.7 rebounds per game. Has hit the over in nearly 80% of the games. Unbelievable hit rates. He's just got to get the minutes, just needs to get the minutes. And I think he gets it tonight against Jared Allen, as long as he doesn't uh, foul, you know, three fouls in the first quarter or something, you know, and then he'll play a, a full allotment. So that's a great play on underdog underdog. Just gifting us plays today. There you go. Just keep scrolling down. You'll find play after play that are viable options. You'll also find ways to play certain plays on sports books, like Fred Van Vliet under nine and a half assists, potentially in play on FanDuel at minus 128. Every other book juiced even higher pinnacle, nice barometer minus 136. but you get the best lines right here. So if you go research this and you say, yeah, I love me that Fred Van Vliet play. Give me the FEV under nine and a half. A-S-T, you could take him for a minus 128. Best straight pick line right here on FanDuel. But an even better one would be something like this. Rudy Gobert over 11 and a half boards. Look, minus 140 or worse on four of the six books, including Pinnacle, BetMGM, Caesars, and Fliff. You get a minus 135 in DK. And then, wow, just sitting there, Rudy Gobert, you can grab the over 11 and a half rebounds. I'm actually writing that one down to, to dig into a little bit later. And you get it at minus 128. So best odds. I hope I'm painting a picture of how to use this thing because you can go out there and get W's all day long. MySpurry.com, get that link down below or just type it into your mobile browser. It ain't hard, my friends. And listen, if you want that access to the you know 10X slip I posted last night, the 50 and 19 betting picks run that I'm on, Y'all got to get that access for $14.99 down below. That's a crazy price. That's a crazy price for 10 plus cappers. I'll see you in the inside, my friends. Let's get paid.